News first at nine. Our top story tonight advocates. They're using Black History Month to educate people about the suicide and mental health problems in our area. Fox 44's Jacqueline Kissick is live in the newsroom with more details. Jacqueline. Well, good evening, Christina. Two women in the Baton Rouge area are recognizing a problem within their own community, and now they're working together in hopes of bringing change. I got a call from one of my sisters, and they were letting me know that my dad had been murdered. Sarah Abdullah's father, Lorenzo Smith, was murdered in July. A friend's husband shot and killed him and then turned the gun on himself. And according to Sarah, her father's friend knew that her husband was struggling with mental health issues. What posts that like I knew he was suicidal, I knew things like this, and he has had mental issues because he's never met my father before. This Black History Month, mental health advocates in our area are wanting to talk about the mental health issues in the African American community. Mental health and addiction does not discriminate. People use for different reasons. I always say from the curbside to the country club. Tonja Miles is a survivor of suicide, substance abuse, and childhood sexual trauma. She says there's a growing problem in our community. You know, I know that gun violence is real and it's horrible, but also the senseless death of those who are trying to get high and not die. You know, historically, these numbers that we're seeing, we have never seen them in communities of color. There are more, you know, uh, drug overdoses than homicide in East Spanish Parish, and we have to address that. Both Sarah and Tanja are working together to bring a positive change. They both are scheduling talks at school to meet with students, giving them a safe place to talk. Tanja is even giving out fentanyl strips to those struggling with addiction. And Sarah has even become a peer mentor at Southern University. We're helping them maneuver into college. We're, you know, just being that big sister, big brother to them. As an athlete, Sarah's father always told her to never stop fighting and to do the right thing. I feel like with that mindset, especially being instilled in me, I feel like that helps me like keep going forward. Tanja, along with the mayor's office, are holding a mental health symposium in April, bringing leaders from across the globe to our community. And for those dealing with any mental health issues, you can contact the 24-hour National Suicide Hotline. That number is 988. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Jacqueline Kissick, Fox 44 News. Very eye-opening. Thank you.